Okay, last night I went to the movie Taken. Now, pretty much it's, uh, you know, Liam Neeson's daughter gets kidnapped and he goes through the mini ass kicking rampage to, uh, to get her back. Now, that is pretty much, that's like the whole movie right there, you know. Daughter goes off to, uh, to France, gets kidnapped, you know, drugged and is going to be sold into sex slavery. Liam Neeson being a former preventer for the government, more or less, uh, you know, gets to hear the phone call as she's being kidnapped. That's, that's the basis of the trailer. And then, uh, through use of some of his uh, friends over at Langley, gets the information translated, hops over into Paris, talks to some of his buddies there, and then begins the process of, you know, impersonating people, whooping the crap out of people, you know, killing people, and that's pretty much the whole movie. I mean, if you like movies like, uh, you know, the Born Identity movies, if you like them more for the action and they're fairly light on plot, you know, or like Transporter, pretty much almost any Statham movie with the exception of In the Name of the King, it's very simple plot, lots of just straight, quick, you know, three move, knock you out, steal your gun, beat you in the back of the head with it, take your gun, shoot these two people. You know, it's it's Liam Neeson being a Jason Statham style character and just whooping the crap out of people really fast, really efficient, and you know, it's a movie you watch, it's an hour and a half, it's a fast hour and a half, it's really not slow. You know, you'll kind of hate the the you kind of hate Kim as Liam Neeson's daughter and Amanda. You're like, oh, oh, these people are getting on my nerves. And then before that, they're kidnapped. So like the two weakest characters in the movie, you almost never see. You see his daughter a little bit in the beginning to do the, you know, oh, daddy, I love you, thanks for my birthday party, that sort of stuff. And then she's kidnapped, and then she's not seen for like an hour. So you see her a little bit in the beginning, then there's just a huge swath of action, a little bit at the end, and, uh, you know, it's also got Ray Parks. I mean, that, that's pretty good. You've got Ray Parks in a non-action role, which you've seen in a couple of times. And you have Liam Neeson just going around, whooping the crap out of people, torturing them, getting information, and uh, it's good. 